Hello everyone. I am, I hope that the sound is coming through. I am wanting to test Facebook Live Creator Kit again. I've been playing around with it and rather enjoying it. I never thought I would enjoy going live via mobile. I've been very much desktop bound so far. Um, so I've been messing around with it today and made some changes and keen to see how that works. So what's new on the waterfront? A couple of things today has, um, has come through and one of them was the Department of Water and Sanitation. They've released, um, they did an interview this morning um, on radio and what's come through from that is that the department is now implementing Section 59 3B of the National Water Act and that allows the department to restrict or suspend the flow of water to defaulting municipalities. The 10.7 billion debt is owed by municipalities despite Section 65.2E of the Municipal Finance Management Act that obliges municipalities to pay for bulk services within 60 days of receiving the relevant invoice or statement. The total top 10 municipalities owe a whopping 2.5 billion of the 3.9 billion owed by municipalities. So water supply will be cut off should the municipalities fail to pay their water debt that has been outstanding for more than 60 days. This does not bode well under the pressure that we are currently in as it is because a lot of people have already been without water. So this is going to be interesting to see whether there is some sort of a bailout or arrangement. It doesn't seem that way, but let's watch the space. News from the city of Cape Town. Mayor Patricia De Lille says that day zero is the day we reach 13.5% dam levels and the city will have to turn off all taps. Capetonians will, will then have to collect 25 litres of water per person per day from 200 collection points across the city. Last week, Water Saving Capetonians pushed day zero from March 2018 to 13 May. But this week, Capetonians used more water and day zero moved forward to 6 May 2018. Seems like a little bit of blame shifting, but that's what it is at the moment. Mayor DeLille says, I quote, I want to ask you Capetonians, call your friends, colleagues and family, ask them to save water with us while the city builds new water augmentation projects like desalination plants, groundwater and water wastewater reuse plants. Dam levels, on the other hand, continue to drop and are at 26.2% usable water. She says, we thank residents who have added their water saving efforts to our own. To make it through the drought and to avoid the day when our taps run dry, it is now more important than ever that we work together. That's for Cape Town. As far as Johannesburg is concerned, because we know they've had some major issues going on in, in Johannesburg with the biggest um, pipe burst ever. So the news from Johannesburg is that two water tanks, this is most unfortunate news, two water tanks that have been placed in areas affected by water outages in the northern parts of Johannesburg have been stolen. Johannesburg Water Spokesperson Isaac Gludu said the utility was in the process of replacing the stolen tanks. When the depot guys went to refill the tanks yesterday, that was Wednesday, they noticed that two of the tanks were stolen. We will know the correct number of tanks stolen in all areas once they are brought back, Gludu said. 
This after the utility said on Wednesday that it was conducting the largest burst pipe repair operation in its history. Santon, Bryanston, Woodmead, Morningside, Alexandra, Lindrow Park and the surrounding areas were affected. Let's see, the other item that I've picked up as far as our water crisis is concerned is on tourism. The Western Cape Government and Westgro, in partnership with Cape Nature and Airbnb, will distribute 2,300 low-flow shower heads that save both water by 70% and electricity by 30% to guest houses, B&Bs and Airbnb hosts across the province. It is estimated that this contribution will help save at least 70 million litres of water a year. This forms part of a campaign to help tourists and small accommodation establishments make a measurable difference in the midst of the worst drought in recorded history by helping save water directly. The campaign will also include the distribution of mirror decals that will be used in these tourism establishments bathrooms, ensuring that tourists are provided with information on how they can save water in the very location where the behavior change is most needed. West Coast CEO Tim Harris says, Cape Town and the Western Cape now faces a new normal and water scarcity is going to be a long-term problem. We therefore realized that a long-term solution was also needed. These shower heads will go a small but measurable way in contributing to the province's water saving efforts. Tourism is essential to the Western Cape economy. According to our calculations, international tourists add 1% to the Western Cape population in the summer peak season, but contributed over 38 billion to the Cape economy in 2016, reporting or supporting 319, 227 jobs. I beg your pardon, that's 319,227 jobs. Tourism is an important contributor to economic growth and job creation. At a time when the drought may hurt key sectors, Westgro is therefore saying to tourists, come to our beautiful province, but please save water. We hope this campaign will make this easier. So there we go. That's the roundup as far as tourism is concerned. Last but not least, we are one day closer to the World Wildlife Fund Watershed Wednesday. Watershed Wednesday will be next Wednesday, the 29th of November, 2017. The idea is that the practice of making um, water saving at home the new normal, we want to make water saving at work the new normal as well. So how will this work? People are to take the water saving ideas and practices to the workplace so that business can cut down on their usage of water as well. So there are six things. Firstly, we ask that each company appoint a water champion. Secondly, all staff members are to bring their own water to work, a maximum of two liters of water for the entire day. That's going to include everything you need to do um, in a day that you need to use water for. All taps and urns, that's thirdly, all taps and urns must be off limits for the entire day, um, except between 12 and 1 p.m. That's the only reprieve during the day. Fourthly, office workers are to wear the same clothes to work on Wednesday that they wore to work on the Tuesday. 
Fifthly, companies are to have a demarcated permission toilet to practice if it's yellow, let it mellow. So everyone will know that that particular toilet is for that purpose. And then number six, the encouragement is that it becomes a habit. So the, the idea with the 29th of November is that from that day moving forward, water saving is going to become a habit in the workplace, the same as it is at home. So that's basically my roundup um, for this evening. As I said, I was trying to test the, um, and I do know that what I did forget to do was put on my light, lighting, which isn't very good. I'm not sure if I can actually try it. Oh, there we go. That makes a difference. Um, I forgot to do that. I was wanting to. Now, what I'm not seeing is when I did my live creator test yesterday, um, I can see one person is watching at the moment. What I'm not seeing now, which tells me that it's still a little buggy, um, is that I could not see, because I've seen people pop on and off, but I couldn't see who it was. When I was doing this test yesterday, I could see who was joining the broadcast. So Facebook Live Creator Kit has definitely still got some bugs. Um, so yes, anyway, it's still early days. I never thought I would enjoy or that I would be using Facebook Live on mobile. But um, here's to hoping and, uh, and I may use it. I would love to test sometime having someone join me live. Um, I'm noticing a button here. I'm not sure what that is for. Ah, so that's I could write a comment. Okay. I've got that. Anyway, that is me for now. Have a great evening further. Thank you for watching. And if you're watching this on the replay, thank you for watching. And please share this, would you? Take care. Bye for now.